Welcome to the lesson Word Formation. After completing this lesson, you will be able to define prefix and suffix. List uses of prefix and suffix. Use appropriate prefixes and appropriate suffixes in given sentences. Define blend word. Identify use of blend words. Define compound word. Identify compound words. Aisha is sitting in the drawing room with her paintbrush and canvas. However, she has not painted anything. Grandma asks Aisha what the problem is. Aisha tells Grandma that she has to select three colors for her painting project. Grandma peeks over Aisha's shoulder and looks at her painting supplies. She remarks that Aisha has a lovely selection of colors. When Aisha hears this, she asks Grandma if she has formed the word selection from select. Grandma tells Aisha that she is correct. She says that the process of forming words is known as word formation. Aisha is curious to learn about word formation. So Grandma decides to tell her all about it. Come on, it's time for us to learn about word formation. Word formation is the method by which words are formed. New words can be formed by adding affixes to existing words or by using existing words to create blend words and compound words. Affixes consist of prefixes and suffixes. A prefix is an addition made at the beginning of a word. For example, U N plus clear forms the new word unclear. A suffix is an addition made at the end of a word. For example, select plus I O N forms the new word selection. Motel is an example of a blend word. It is a blend of motor plus hotel. Milkman is a compound word formed by joining the nouns milk and man. These are the ways in which words may be formed. A prefix is a syllable that is added to the beginning of a base word. To make a new word. A prefix modifies or changes the meaning of the word. Thus, the meaning of the new word is different from the original word. For example, the prefix UN plus happy forms the new word unhappy. Unhappy means sad or no longer happy. It is different in meaning from the original word happy. Let us learn how prefixes can be used to form verbs. The prefixes F O R, E N, E M, I M, F O R E, etc., can be added to existing words to form verbs. For example, the prefix F O R E plus C forms the verb for C. Given below is a table of verbs formed using prefixes F O R plus sake, for sake, E N plus able, enable, E M plus body, embody and I am plus print, imprint are examples of verbs formed using 
prefixes. Thus, prefixes can be used to form verbs. Let us now look at how prefixes can be used in order to form antonyms. The prefixes DIS, IM, IN, UN, IR, IL, etc. can be used to form antonyms or the opposite of the original or base word. For example, the prefix DIS plus place forms the antonym displace. Displace is the antonym of the verb place. Given below is a table of antonyms formed using prefixes. Possible becomes impossible. Sane becomes insane. Do becomes undo. Regular becomes irregular. And logical becomes illogical. Thus, prefixes are often used to form antonyms. A suffix is a syllable added to the end of a base word to form a new word. For example, happy plus the suffix n-e-s-s -S becomes happiness. A suffix creates a new word that is derived from the base word. Thus, happiness is derived from happy. A suffix can be used to form the plural of a noun. For example, batch becomes batches. The tense of a verb. For example, go becomes going. A suffix can also be used to form the comparative degree and superlative degree of an adjective. If the adjective does not end in a vowel, we add ER to form the comparative degree and EST to form the superlative degree. So, the comparative degree of tough is tougher and the superlative degree is toughest. If the adjective ends in E, we add R to form the comparative degree and ST to form the superlative degree. The comparative degree of free is freer while the superlative degree is freest. If the adjective ends in Y, we replace the Y with I and add ER to form the comparative degree and EST to form the superlative degree. Thus, the comparative degree of happy is happier and the superlative degree is happiest. Let us learn about the uses of a suffix. Suffixes such as AL, ANC, ENC, MENT, ION, ER, etc. can be used to form nouns from verbs. For example, the verb betray plus the suffix AL form the noun betrayal. The following table contains nouns that have been formed from verbs. Thus, accept becomes acceptance, correspond becomes correspondence, manage becomes management, protect becomes protection, and write becomes writer. Suffixes such as ITY H O O D N E S S T Y R Y etc. can be used to form nouns from adjectives. For example, the verb active plus the suffix I T Y forms the noun activity. 
The following table contains nouns that have been formed from adjectives. Thus, false becomes falsehood. Bold becomes boldness. Certain becomes certainty. And rival becomes rivalry. Suffixes such as ISE, IFY, EN, etc. can be used to form verbs from nouns. For example, the noun colony plus the suffix ISE forms the verb colonize. Thus, class becomes classify and black becomes blacken. Suffixes such as ISE, IFY, EN, N, etc. can be used to form verbs from adjectives. For example, the adjective fertile plus the suffix ISE forms the verb fertilize. Thus, false becomes falsify, tight becomes tighten and wide becomes widen. Keep in mind sometimes vowels that appear at the end of the original word are dropped when a suffix is added to the word. Suffixes such as ish, ly, y, ic, ful, en, LESS, etc., can be used to form adjectives from nouns. For example, the noun boy plus the suffix ish forms the adjective boyish. So, brother becomes brotherly, air becomes airy, artist becomes artistic, bliss becomes blissful and gold becomes golden. Suffixes such as A-B-L-E, L-E-S-S, S-O-M-E, etc. can be used to form adjectives from verbs. For example, the verb accept plus the suffix A-B-L-E forms the adjective acceptable. So, care becomes careless and tire becomes tiresome. Suffixes such as ISH, AL, Y, SOME, etc. can be used to form adjectives from other adjectives. For example, the adjective black plus the suffix ISH forms the adjective blackish. So, tragic becomes tragical, sick becomes sickly, and whole becomes wholesome. Suffixes can be used to form adverbs from nouns. For example, the noun fear plus the suffix f u l l y form the adverb fearfully similarly the noun home plus the suffix w a r d form the adverb homeward suffixes can be used to form adverbs from adjectives for example the adjective rapid plus the suffix l y form the adverb rapidly. Similarly, the adjective sad plus the suffix ly form the adverb sadly. Remember, in the case of words ending in y, the y is replaced by i when the suffix is added in order to form the adverb. For example, the adjective dry plus the suffix ly form the adverb 
dryly. However, the adjective shy is an exception. Shy plus the suffix ly form the adverb shyly. The y in shy is not replaced by i when the suffix ly is added to it. Suffixes can also be used to form abstract nouns. An abstract noun is something that you cannot see or touch. It refers to events, feelings, qualities, etc. Let us look at the ways in which an abstract noun can be formed using a suffix. Abstract nouns can be formed by adding a suffix to a noun. For example, the noun poet plus the suffix ry forms the abstract noun poetry. Abstract nouns can be formed by adding a suffix to a verb. For example, the verb realize plus the suffix a-t-i-o-n forms the abstract noun realization. Abstract nouns can be formed by adding a suffix to an adjective. For example, the adjective honest plus the suffix by forms the abstract noun honesty. Words can be formed by blending two words together. Parts from two words are combined to form a new word. Such words are known as blend words or portmanteau words. A portmanteau word is formed by combining the beginning of one word and the end of another word and yet retaining the meaning of each. For example, when we blend the words smoke and fog, we form the portmanteau word smog. Smog is used to refer to a mixture of smoke fumes and fog. Other examples of blend words or portmanteau words are motel, moped, brunch, etc. We can combine two words in order to form a compound word. Compound words may be joined by a hyphen may remain as two separate words or maybe one single word. For example, the nouns black and bird can be combined in order to form the compound word blackbird. Compound words can be compound nouns, compound verbs or compound adjectives. The following table lists the different types of compound words. Policeman, notebook, looking glass are examples of compound nouns. Undergo, over here, whitewash are examples of compound verbs. Homesick, handmade, quick-tempered are examples of compound adjectives. Let us look at some more examples of word formation. Grandma has explained word formation to Aisha. Let us revise the main points for Aisha to make sure that she remembers what Grandma has taught her. Word formation is the method by which words are formed. New words can be formed by adding affixes to existing words or by using existing words to create blend words and compound words. Affixes consist of prefixes and suffixes. 
A prefix is an addition made at the beginning of a word. A suffix is an addition made at the end of a word. A prefix is a syllable that is added to the beginning of a base word to make a new word. A prefix modifies or changes the meaning of the word. Thus, the meaning of the new word is different from the original word. The prefixes F-O-R, E-N, E-M, I-M, F-O-R-E, etc. can be added to existing words to form verbs. The prefixes D-I-S, I-M, I-N, U-N, I-R, I-L, etc can be used to form antonyms or the opposite of the original or base word. A suffix is a syllable added to the end of a base word to form a new word. A suffix creates a new word that is derived from the base word. A suffix can be used to form the plural of a noun as well as the tense of a verb. A suffix can also be used to form the comparative degree and superlative degree of an adjective. Suffixes such as AL, ANC, ENC, MENT, ION, ER, etc. can be used to form nouns from verbs. Suffixes such as ITY, H O O D N E S S T Y R Y etc. can be used to form nouns from adjectives. Suffixes such as I S E I F Y E N etc. can be used to form verbs from nouns. Suffixes such as I S E I F Y E N N etc. can be used to form verbs from adjectives. Suffixes such as I S H L Y Y I C F U L E N L E S S etc can be used to form adjectives from nouns. Suffixes such as A-B-L-E L-E-S-S S-O-M-E etc. can be used to form adjectives from verbs. Suffixes such as I-S-H A-L Y S-O-M-E etc can be used to form adjectives from other adjectives. Suffixes can be used to form adverbs from nouns as well as adjectives. An abstract noun is something that you cannot see or touch. It refers to events, feelings, qualities, etc. Abstract nouns can be formed by adding a suffix to a noun a verb or an adjective. Words can be formed by blending two words together. Parts from two words are combined to form a new word. A portmanteau word is formed by combining the beginning of one word and the end of another word and yet retaining the meaning of each. We can combine two words in order to form a compound word. Compound words can be compound nouns, compound verbs or compound adjectives.